3406. Hello again. Yesterday I released a video about the Quantsync TK11 version 2 and actually about the firmware that arrived with the 50018. And uh, I was kind of happy because uh, Quantsync shared the file with me and I thought I would share it to my channel for you to download and pass to your radios. Now, I received some reports from users on the channel that they had problems with this firmware, especially with the TK11 parenthesis 8 version of the radio, that uh, when they passed this firmware that I uploaded, the 50018, the radio didn't function correctly and uh, the switch between memory channel and uh, VFO didn't work, also the keypad didn't work and they had to revert to a previous firmware the one that is officially released, the 50009. I'm really sorry about this guys, obviously it wasn't intentional by me. This was the information I had from Quanseng and uh, today I received another email that they apologized and uh, they told me to revert to a previous firmware. However, I will reattach my previous video to this one so you can see it and check it out. As you can see right now on the screen I have the version 2 here with the camo case from what they told me it's the version 2, although it doesn't write it in the back, running with this firmware 50018 and here I have the version 1, the older one that I had. This is the TK11 parenthesis 5, which I have also flashed with this latest firmware 50018 and it works fine, at least as far as keys go and the general function of the radio. As you can see now, they just stopped and received a signal, both of them. I have them both scanning in low megahertz. So I'm just releasing this file again. I will re-upload. Please read the description of this video carefully. I'm just uploading this firmware file 50018 that Quan Seng sent to me with a big fat warning this time. Try it at your own risk, although I said that in the previous video too. Now the warning is bigger. Try it at your own risk. You can always revert to the previous firmware if something goes wrong, from what I know at least. But if you are like me and like to fiddle around with new firmwares and experimental stuff, go ahead and test it. You can always report to me in the comments of the video and I will forward your concerns to Quan Seng. And if I have any new communication about this matter, I will re-upload the video and update you about what's going on with this file. Or maybe a newer firmware that will be released from Quan Seng officially. That's all for now. Following is the video that I released yesterday. I don't want it to be hidden or deleted. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Hi all. This is another video for the Quanseng TK11. I think it's going to be fairly quick this time, but we'll come back to it later. I hope a new unit arrived to me. Uh, it's the version 2, as you know. I'm sure that most of you that follow the TK11 developments know that Quanseng has released the version 2 of the TK11. That the most important thing that has changed is the antenna connectors uh, internally. This is the version 1 uh, unit that I already had. So now, uh, from what we know, the HF frequencies are routed through the main antenna and not only through the 3.5 mm jack. Uh, of course, when you connect the 3.5 here, those frequencies are routed back to this antenna. But if you remove it, then the HF is routed through the main antenna. This is a relief for a lot of people that I know. I am sure that it is helpful. And uh, let's check it out. Just a quick, a very quick unboxing actually, because there is no need to show many things here. Okay, obviously another uh, antenna. The user manual. Everything looks identical. Actually, if uh, Quan Seng hadn't told me that this unit was a version 2, I wouldn't even know. This is the Hammer 3.5 uh, antenna. And this is the unit that arrived to me with a camo case looks pretty nice, I have to say that. And here is the battery and the black sticker of this radio. I know that uh, some of the version 2 radios have 
a version 2 imprinted here on the case, uh, here at the back of the radio. This one doesn't. From what Kwanseng told me, these units with the camo, the camouflage case, uh, they're all version 2. And that's why they didn't print uh, version 2 down here, because they don't need to distinguish them from other versions, since all of them are version 2. Um, the black ones have version 1 and version 2, so you just have to check down here if it says version 2. At the moment, uh, from what we know, you can select what uh, version you will buy. I will put links for the version 2 on the description of the video, of course for Aliexpress, the official store of Kwanseng. And let's have a quick look here. There are a lot of videos out there presenting version 2 and explaining exactly what is going on with version 2. Now, another thing that I noticed when the unit arrived was the firmware version. And to say the truth, this is the main reason of this video. But Let's have a look here. If we go to menu, as you can see, version of the firmware is 50018. Now, uh, if you check Quantsync's official website where you can download the firmware and the CPS, you will notice that there the available firmware is 50009. And from some posts on Facebook from people that have received the version 2 recently, uh, we have seen that it came with the version 50018, which is obviously the newest version that Quanseng is working on. But it's not released through their website yet. So I inquired about it and they gave me the firmware file I'm truly happy about this. Unfortunately, they couldn't share the change log between version 09 and 18. But it's the latest one that uh, exists. From what we know, is compatible with both version 1 and version 2. And, and that's why I made this video, just to share it with you. The file will be in the description of the video for you to download. I will do a quick firmware update now. Just to show once again the procedure, I have to say it just for the record, you're doing this on your own risk, but I strongly believe there will be no problem. Of course, it's your decision if you're going to go through with it or not. I am just going to do the firmware upgrade now once more, pass the new version 50018, and hopefully we'll see what Kwanseng has changed in the future when they release it officially and put the official change log online. At the moment, I know nothing more about it, apart that it's the latest version that exists, and that several version 2 units ship with this firmware from factory. So let's do the upgrade and continue. A few moments later. Alright, so this is version 1. It's not the version 2 that arrived to me. This is version 1 with the old firmware and now I'm going to pass the newest 50018 to version 1 unit. Uh, just to remind you, all you have to do to put the unit in firmware upgrade mode is to press and hold PDT and power on the unit where you will see it writes ready to upgrade boot version 50001. That's from this end. And at the CPS, we go here at the top of the menu where it says firmware update or something like that. And we select the new firmware file. Here is the new firmware file 0018. And go for press the button that says update. It's done. Let's check the firmware version now. Right, it's the newest one, 0018. 
to the version 1 unit, the old one that I had. Very nice. And all my data are still inside. Okay, I could pass them again if I wanted, there's no problem to re-update the code plug, but it's okay. So this was the latest firmware that exists from Quanseng. It's not in the official site yet, as I told you. I'm happy to share the file with you. Unfortunately, I don't know yet the official change log. It will be released soon, maybe with a newer version or whatever other changes Quanseng will make before releasing it. So as I told you, this is version 2, the camo case. I think it's very nice. So we'll see if uh, we can make some tests for this unit and uh, make another video. At the moment that was all. You can pass the new firmware to your radio and let me know in the comments if you noticed any differences. To say the truth, I didn't have any time to go through the menu and check everything. I just wanted to release this video and the file for you to download. So if you notice anything different from the older firmware, from the 09 to the 18 one, let me know in the comments and we can explore them together. Thank you for watching. See you next time.